Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer a MetaHuman rig logic, uh, the DNA rig logic, uh, to a character creator for a uh, skeletal mesh. So we have our uh, default MetaHuman, in our case is the Tore, and we also have a CC4 character Camilla. And uh, we would uh, like to transfer the functionality from uh, this uh, MetaHuman to our uh, CC4 character, right? So uh, let's uh, get started. First of all, uh, what I want to make is a post process animation blueprint. And we're going to call this Camilla post process. And in this post process, we will add the rig logic node that will process all everything uh, uh, behind the scenes, right? So let's add rig logic. Okay, let's compile and uh, let's also assign it. And save. Uh, now uh, we can proceed uh, with uh, our DNA functionality transfer. We go to tools and transfer DNA. We select Camilla. And uh, here we have uh, the bindings we have to create, right? I already made a, a binding asset and I'm going to put it in the description of this video. And uh, let me load it. Uh, and this is the binding. I found uh, that it works uh, pretty good. And uh, let's get started, right? Let's, uh, let's see uh, what uh, we do here. We don't need the entire skeleton. We're just going to put here spine. Spine 03. We're gonna match bone pivots because our skeleton hierarchy is different. We're also gonna uh, zero the expressions. The, these metahuman expressions uh, are not uh, gonna work with our Camilla character. And we're gonna transfer uh, curve names and uh, morph targets as well, corrective morph targets. These morph targets here. And uh, this will transfer only what is used by our binding here, right? So. Uh, let's uh, press OK. Uh, also, before pressing OK, uh, if you make any changes here, you can save your own map. Uh, and uh, next time you can load it so you don't have to redo this for multiple characters, right? So uh, now uh, we can go ahead. Okay, our MetaHuman DNA functionality is transferred uh, to uh, the CC4 mesh, and we can see that uh, by checking animation curves here. And uh, we also have all these MetaHuman correctives uh, created here, right? So uh, let's uh, let's start. Uh, what uh, we need to fix is uh, uh, the rotations uh, for jaw and eyes, right? Uh, this uh, uh, we select the jaw open expression in uh, the animation curves, and uh, the bone uh, that uh, is affected by this expression is marked here, and we can rotate it the way we like, right? So we're gonna put it like this for the sake of this uh, video. We're gonna bake this. And now if you, you enable your expression, you will see that it uh, works, right? So uh, we're going to do the same with Joe right? Let's break this down. We're going to do Joe left now. Break this down. Jaw forward like this. And also jaw back like this. I think it's okay. Let's test them out. This is jaw right. Jaw open, jaw left, jaw forward, and jaw back. 
uh, let's save this so we don't lose any progress in case uh, Unreal Engine crashes and also let's uh, let's do the eyes uh, we're just gonna do one eye and uh, we have the look down for the uh, left eye and we can rotate it we're gonna make it like this it's fine let's do look left All these expressions we're creating now are bone expressions that we're now creating on our newly created DNA asset. So uh, that's uh, the beauty of it. They're not uh, sculpted, it's just bone movement. Wait. Okay. Let's break this down as well. And I think what well, we have up as well we're just gonna do this i we don't uh, uh we're not gonna do for the rest of the the bones the eye and all that we're just gonna focus on the left eye and we're gonna test it uh now uh, what uh, we need to do uh, we have also blink which by default doesn't work because there's no movement uh, for uh, this uh, blink uh, expression we don't have any eyelid bones and uh, we can just use uh, we can use uh, the morph target from uh, character creator 4 and we're gonna search here just copy i'm just copying uh, the name uh, of this uh, corrective expression for uh, our current metahuman blink i'm just gonna search here for blink and we already have a blink that comes with the uh, uh with the cc4 i'm gonna delete this corrective from metahuman and i'm gonna rename the cc4 uh blink expression to our corrective I'm gonna save and uh, let's search again for blink and now we have also blink functionality that can uh, be triggered with uh, this uh, control expression and uh, let's uh, move forward a little bit let's uh, go to a sequence here Uh, another thing that uh, we have to do is uh, we have to assign our default metahuman rig so uh, metahuman control rig right so it will uh, be displayed in a sequencer automatically let's search for metahuman face board okay let's save and now let's go back here and now we have our board as well so we can test our expressions uh, these are uh, the jaw uh, movement uh, expressions so we've created with poser and we can also test blink and we can also test the uh, eye rotation right this is processed by the metahuman rig logic which we've implemented in this uh, cc4 character so uh one more thing uh in uh, your uh, metahuman uh, in your uh, cc4 character you have several uh morph targets uh, corrective morph targets some are fully expression morph targets you would have to identify and see which one applied to your metahuman DNA uh, rig logic, right? So you would, uh, the same as I did with the, the blink, you would have to do 
with uh, any other expression you want this way right so uh this is it guys uh, for this video i hope you enjoy this uh video and uh, see you around bye